We're not looking at any of the mess that they had out west or are currently having out west, but we will have our own little minor issues here with the rain, a little bit of a wind and eventually some snow for tomorrow. So kind of a little bit of everything. And in fact, this morning we're starting off dry, but there is some fog to worry about. And especially considering our temperatures are below freezing in a lot of places, 30 in Plattsburgh, 31 Burlington, 29 Middlebury and up towards the Northeast Kingdom where they have some of that fog down into the 20s. So it may be a little bit slick on your way out the door this morning, but it is for the most part pretty quiet. You're finding some spot showers over to the west, and that is just the leading edge of that system here that is bringing lots of rain and even some snow for portions of the Great Lakes up in Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. They have plenty of snow for us. Rain turning to some snow as that system falls apart. So that's good news for us. That system is going to be weakening a little bit as it gets overhead of us. Still going to mean though plenty of rain, especially in the second part of the day, but at least it will be mild with some of those rain showers. Keysville 42, 45 in Ticonderoga, 42 in Shazy, and a little bit of a breeze as that rain arrives in the second part of the day. Lindenville 44, Lebanon 46, Chelsea 45, same with St. Albans right around 46 for Milton. 44 in South Pomfret, 49 in Pulteney, 45 degrees in Stratton, near 50 for Arlington today. Again, most of the first half of the day, besides some of that fog, is nice and dry. Midday and beyond though, spotty showers fill out and you get periods of heavy rain. Oranges, reds here showing up for that evening drive and around dinner time. Please know that it is going to be quite soggy even though we're starting off dry. Things drastically change for the afternoon and I also mentioned that wind is going to pick up a little bit by then. It's with the arrival of a cold front. The cold front will drop temperatures tomorrow morning into the mid 30s. That does leave us with some mountain snow. Adirondacks, Green Mountains, Northeast Kingdom into the whites. You guys are going to expect a couple of inches of that snow throughout your Thursday morning especially. Valley shouldn't see much accumulation if any at all. It is going to be mostly dry by Thursday especially in the afternoon for our lower terrain areas and by Friday that sun comes back out a beautiful nice bright end to the week here for your shopping day or your tree lighting but it is going to be cold so temperatures begin to drop tomorrow that's why we have that transition to snow and it remains breezy when uh, Thursday just a little bit of a breeze but plenty cold in the upper 20s despite some sun and then another brisk day but bright day on Saturday <music>